What's up beautiful people, it's Cinderella. welcome to the channel. Today we have this very interesting video from Matt Walsh and it's titled Jada Pinkett Smith says Will Slap saved their marriage. Also, I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. Daily Mail has this. When a marriage hits a rocky patch, couples find different ways of bringing back the magic. Date night or perhaps counseling. For Jada Pinkett Smith and her husband Will, it took a public scandal to reset the relationship. Pinkett now says in an interview, quote, I nearly didn't even attend the Oscars that year, but I'm glad I did. I call it the holy slap now because so many positive things came from it. Wow. She is, of course, referring to the 2022 Oscars at which her husband had been nominated and he slapped her. We know about that. She says, quote, that moment of the S hitting the fan is when you see where you really are. After all those years of trying to figure out if I would leave Will's side, it took that slap for me to see that I will never leave him. Who knows where our relationship would be if that hadn't happened? So, wow, it's another interview that Jada Pickett Smith is doing, and in this interview, she says that uh, she's glad that the slap happened because that's when she decided that she's uh, not going to leave Will Smith because it was strengthening of their relationship or something like that. So, first of all, Jada Pickett Smith just will not stop talking. Like she won't stop. She apparently subscribes to the uh, to the school of PR crisis management that says <laughs> when you're in a PR crisis, just keep talking, which is the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do in these situations. Exactly. Just, but her idea is like just say more and more things. Mm. And I guess the hope is that is that you'll 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 win the public relations war by attrition. Or maybe the idea is to say so many insane and disgusting and repellent things that you know nobody can keep track anymore. So I'm not sure what the strategy is, but but this woman will not stop. And now she says that the slap was a great thing for their marriage. And it's when she decided not to leave Will Smith, except that she did leave him. But wait, now she's saying the slap. So what I'm getting here is it took it has to take him to hit somebody or fight somebody over her before she would realize that she should not leave the marriage or she uh, she's not supposed to leave the marriage like wait uh, what am i getting here because this just don't make sense who does this i mean i don't even know what who is entertaining this or how people are entertaining this but this has to stop but yeah let's go on so she she did leave him so she decided not to leave him except in the sense that she's she actually did leave like she left the house mm -hmm. and moved in somewhere else and announce to the world that they're not uh, that they're not together anymore. So in that sense, she left him. But in some other sense, some mystical, e ephemeral sense, she didn't leave him. I, I, you know, if that makes sense, which it doesn't. But the real takeaway here is that is that she sees the slap as a positive, as holy. It destroyed her her husband's life and career. Yeah. Like his career is over because it, and it's probably never really gonna. At least it's never gonna come. It's never gonna get back to what it was. True. It made him into a disgrace, a punchline. Like, that is the thing that people will remember Will Smith for, for. forever. That is his legacy now. Mm. And she sees it as a positive. And why is that? Because she obviously enjoys watching this man debase himself. Yes. As we know, she takes a great deal of pleasure in, in uh, Will Smith's public humiliation. So like, sad. it really is amazing how evil this woman is. She's like a cartoon. <laughs> She's the kind of person who, if you if if she was a character in a movie, like it would take you out of the story because it, it, it's she's too evil. You would say like yeah. it's not even believable. This sound like some narcissistic, terrible, horrible behavior. Because how can somebody be this way? Like how can somebody be so destructive? You destroy your husband's career, destroy yourself, destroy your family, just to make you feel good. I think instead of her talking, she should be thinking of how to make herself a better person. I mean, I love her prior to this, but I don't understand what we're seeing here. Or this is just for the gram or for publicity sake, or is there something I'm missing? Destroy your marriage, destroy your husband, destroy your husband's career. And you call it saving? What else is left? And some people love this type of craziness. This is what people would call love in their terms. It's sick. But yeah, let's go on. 
But she continues to be at least a great cautionary tale for young men. And that's why I always say anytime that there's a story about Jada Pinkett Smith. Now, she, she is, she's a, um, it, she, she's a, a quite an extreme case. Hmm. But to, to a somewhat maybe a lesser degree, this is not uncommon in relationships. True. Where you have one member of the relationship who, who like enjoys yeah. the other person being embarrassed. True. And you, there are plenty of men who find themselves in relationship with, relationships with mm. women who are yes, like this. Yes, true. And yeah, it happens in the reverse too. Yes. But just talking about the Jada Pinkett Smith, like there, there are many Jada Pinkett Smiths. Maybe I'll not quite. Do. She's the, yeah, you know, she's the ultimate supervillain. But <laughs> couple, uh, huh? but there are many who are kind of in her, you know, sort of in that vein. Yeah. And you can see, you know, you see uh, examples of it all the time. Like we've all been around. You know, you're around a couple, and mm. maybe the wife or the girlfriend bring something up supposedly in a joking way but that's actually embarrassing for the man and you could tell that he's really embarrassed by it mm -hmm. you know and and yeah you could do that in a way that's actually joking you know and uh and you can't take yourself too seriously in a relationship and so you tease each other or whatever and that you know and that can happen even even in, in a, publicly in a way that's obviously well-meaning hmm. But um, there are plenty of times when we've, we've all seen this, and it's very awkward to be true. around it. Yeah, true. When you see a man get kind of like cut down and embarrassed by his wife or his girlfriend. And uh, you can tell, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith loves doing it. She loves to just embarrass this man. And this is, it's red flag. You know, if you're with a, you know, men are always, I get questions from young men all the time. What should you be looking for in a woman? What should, you know, there's a lot to be looking for. There's a lot. When you talk about red flags, you're dating a woman. If there's like one time, even once, mm. when she does or says anything that is intended to legitimately embarrass you, yeah. even in a small way, th then get the hell out. Just, just get out immediately. You, you got a Jada Pinkett Smith on your hands. And it's not going to get better as Will Smith, uh, so unfortunately true. for him, has discovered. And this is true, this is so true. There are tons of people who are in this type of relationship, men and women inclusive. And it's sad that some people find comfort in this type of relationship and they just be like, they can't just get out. They can't just leave. You Listen, you. some people enjoy this type of destructive nature. It's just so sad that some people find comfort in this type of destructive relationship destructive nature and this is just an example of what it is some people would f see it as very okay because that is who they are that is what they do that is what they exhibit in their relationship but it just don't make sense this is messed up in every way any way you want to look at it it is messed up because how do you sit to enjoy destroying somebody embarrassing somebody and say it is fulfilling and say you find a savior in it, like saving your marriage, what not, what, what, what? It's sad that we are seeing this and there are tons of people who live in this mess and just don't know what to do. This is your cue to live. If you are in this type of relationship, this type of marriage whatsoever, just leave. Would you rather stay in some, in some place that is draining or some place that would fill you is left for you to decide but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below i'm sure tons of people have got different opinion regarding this have you at any point been in some type of relationship that looks like the jada pinkett smith and will smith's relationship i'm sure people have got different experiences regarding this you can share that in the comment down below for others to learn how you handled it or what went on you, i would really love you to share that in the comment down below for people to learn as well you can share other useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video